Hey, Tower Uniters! Is playing Heart Clicker over here getting a little too boring for you? You want to spice up your little Tower Unite game? Well, with the new Tower Unite update, you can emulate a lot of games. Like 24 different consoles or something worth that. And uh, you, you can even play on a handheld, you can play with arcade machines, there's like a billion different things to do. And a lot of people have been pretty confused about how to do this. And due to the uh, morally kind of gray area, it's kind of difficult for the devs to really fully show us what to do uh, as to avoid legal troubles. So I'm going to make a video about this real quick uh, just to help anyone out having issues with it. Because I, 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 I know a lot of people aren't very tech savvy, myself included even. And uh, a lot of people have been having troubles setting these emulators up. So I'll be going over how to do this in this video and I hope it's useful to you guys. Alright, so to purchase these items, you'll want to go to the toy shop over here, it's in the plaza. Um, and you'll want to talk to this guy, you can just go to new items. Or if you're watching this video sometime in the future, you can just go to the category over here for retro gaming. And over here you can buy all the game consoles, like you can get the little arcade machine, get this little racing cabinet, uh, this little system. But what we're mainly going to be using in the video is the Game Station Global because it allows you to play any of the games on the go, just anywhere. Like, I'll just pull it up right here. There we go. So to begin playing the games, first you want to take out that game console you use. It can be anything, you can use the handheld like I have so in my hand. You can use this little machine over here. They all function a little bit differently for how to activate it. Uh, over here, if you click on this one and you go to edit, you can just do the browse games and access it from that way. The handheld over here, you'll have to press left click on this and then hold down shift. And you get this little menu you can navigate using your uh, arrow keys. And then whenever you want to select anything, you just press enter on that. And then you get brought up with the same screen as you did over here. With all that aside, you want to go down here and do it, go to the Open ROMs folder. And then when that opens, you'll be confronted with a bunch of different options. Don't panic or anything, that's completely fine. This is just all the folders you have for all the game consoles. So you want to find the console that you're trying to play. Uh, like play down here is for the PS2, for example. Uh, but in this video, I'm just going to be using Desmium as an example because that's a DS emulator. And it does not require BIOS. Some of these require BIOS, which is... Basically, it's sort of like a little bit of code or something like that to tell the console that I own this console and I'm able to play these games pretty much. But not all consoles require the BIOS, like the DS for example. So we can just put the files in here and play it and then we don't have to do anything else. Uh, I'm going to go into the BIOS later in the video, but I'm not going to start it off with that because it's a bit more complicated. And if the game console doesn't need the BIOS, I'm not going to get everyone all mixed up in that type of stuff uh, if all they need is just this stuff. Moving on with the video, to get these ROMs you'll want to legally obtain them and cannot find them anywhere on the internet. By the way, for a completely unrelated tip, I heavily suggest using an ad blocker and antivirus on anything you download after watching this video. And if you want to even go an extra step, you can also use antiviruses such as Malwarebytes, which is what I use, to scan uh, any new downloads that you do, just to make sure your PC is safe. Again, completely unrelated to ROMs, you definitely cannot download them off the internet. There definitely is none. Uh, and it is very illegal to do so, and I do not suggest doing it. Alright campers, once you have legally obtained in the ROMs that you're trying to get, you're just going to want to go over here and put them on your desktop, and then you also want to drag it into this folder, and if it's not the correct file, that's completely okay, we can fix that over here. And by the way, you can just check what files you need up here. This one says zip and NDS, so that's how we know what type of file it requires. And again, if it doesn't work, you can use a uh, program such as WinRAR to open this. Let me get out of here. And then you can go over here for Tools, Convert Archives, and then it allows you to switch the uh, file type to like a bunch of different types of files. So what you need should be over here. And then once you do that, you just do Save, OK. And then you're all good. You can close that out. 
and then you should have whatever file you need, to, you need over here and then I'll go load up Tower Unite and I'll show you guys if it works. So let's see. We are back in the Tower Unite and we're going to load this up and see if it works now. So again we'll hold down the left shift to open up that menu then we'll go to game select. Let's see. Desmium. And look at that, Mario Kart DS. Let's see if it works. Usually these games take a little bit to load up, so we just gotta wait here now. All right, there we go, Mario Kart DS 2005, look at that. Is the nickname Desmi? <laughs> sure. During races, Desmi will appear on screen. Yeah, sure thing. Create a custom emblem. I'll do that later. All right. Just gonna go to Grand Prix. Let's just do. You know, we're 150 CC. We're a gamer. Princess Peach. You know how it is. Oh yeah. There's no bikes in this game. That's a Mario Kart Wii thing. I'm used to playing Mario Kart Wii. All right. Let's just play this. Let's, let's go to the Flower Cup. Yeah, that sounds cool. It's like the best cup on Mario Kart Wii. I, dude, I, I, I love Mario Kart Wii. I still play it so much. You, you can like play online in Mario Kart Wii uh, using like this whole like fan thing. It's it's so cool. All right, I, I, anyway, though, I, <laughs> enough about me rambling. Uh, I think this is pretty evident that it shows you're able to still play these games, and that's very cool. Uh, now, the controls might be a little scuffed, uh, and I'll put those on screen in a little bit. Um, sadly, I don't think you're able to really mess with them too much. This is a very new feature to Tower Unite, and they're still getting everything worked out. Uh, but honestly, the fact that you can even do this in the first place is incredible. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't even really know, know what else to say, but that's how you do DS emulators or anything else that doesn't require a BIOS. Very, very easy, as you saw in the video. And yeah, let me, let me know if you guys have any uh, issues with this, and you can comment on the video, and I'll try and help you guys. Alright, you know what? Finishing a humble fourth place, I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> anyway though, uh, we're going to be moving on with the video now, and I'm going to show you guys how to download a uh, game that requires BIOS, and then we'll be playing that game. Because installing games with the BIOS is a little bit different, it's a, uh, a little more complicated, but don't worry, it's not too hard still, and if you got that part of the video, you should be perfectly fine doing this part of the video. And again, if you guys have any com or any uh, concerns or questions about how to do anything, feel more than free to comment on the video. I'd like to try helping you guys out as much as I can. And uh, yeah, let's move on to that BIOS part now. Going back to the game consoles again, we're going to go back to browse game down here. And as you can see, this is the PS1 emulator, and it says one game found, Crash Bandicoot. That's the game I was testing that out on. And down here it says BIOS installed because the PS1 needs BIOS and the game doesn't provide it to you. You have to do it and legally obtain yourself uh, using the steps as I said earlier in the video. And then, anyway, whenever you legally obtain that BIOS, you want to go to the ROM folder. And it isn't as simple as putting it in here, but it still is easy to do. You, you, you want to uh, follow the file directory up here. You want to click on the lib retro area. And then you want to do it. You want to go down to system, and then you just put whatever BIOS you need in here. The PS1 had three BIOS, and I wasn't sure what to use, so I just put all of them in there. It didn't break it or anything. It works perfectly fine. Uh, I'll actually show that right here if it allows me to. And yeah, I mean, I, I didn't have any issues with that. I'm able to play the game perfectly and everything like that. Uh, I actually kind of forgot how to move, admittedly, but it, it's okay. Um, and if the resolution gets messed up, you might want to try a different machine. Uh, it wasn't working on my handheld a little bit ago, and now the resolution's messed up on this one. It's the the feature's still very finicky and uh, new, but it's it's fine. Anyway, that's how you do that then. And uh, I'll install a new BIOS and a new game to show you guys that it really do does work, and we'll go through that again. Finishing up the video, just hang in with me for a little bit. Once we legally obtain. Press the files that we need, we just go over here, and this is going to be the BIOS for the Sega Saturn. I'm just going to be doing that one, and it might seem a little intimidating at first, but it's completely okay. Depending on what type of thing you download, you might get like a bunch of different BIOS. For example, I downloaded one that has all regions, so we'll just uh, hover over this and see. This is for Japan, Japan again, that's USA, 
and that's Europe. So we don't want the Japan ones or anything because we're running a Europe game, or a uh, USA game I think. But it doesn't really matter if we have them regardless, I just it'll be helpful if I ever get something that needs Japan, so you know, we'll just grab it and copy it all in there. But if for whatever reason you don't want any of the versions and you get like an all regions copy, it's completely fine if you just want to get rid of the rest of them. Anyway, now we got that in there, so we have all the uh, Biosphere going to require. And then I have a, I just downloaded some random game I found called Per- I, I legally obtain a uh, random game I found called Pro Pinball. <laughs> I can't take this anymore. Anyway, uh, we're going to go and put that in the folder it needs, and admittedly I just kind of forgot what folder I have to put it into, but I'll just find the right folder after I finish this recording, and then uh, I'll resume the video when we get back into Tower Unite, and we'll see if it works. See you then. Alright, going back into Tower Unite, it turns out we actually had two pretty big issues I didn't solve. The first one was going into the BIOS, so first I'll show you the screen. Let me go to... Game selector, and then we go to the one I was using, Yabu Saturn. Uh, at first, it did not say the BIOS was installed, and I actually found the fits to that. <clears throat> it needs to be named a very specific thing, so let me go down here. Right, so I called that Saturn BIOS uh, dot bin, but look at this. If I add the extra S and I refresh that, it says I'm missing the BIOS, but all you have to do is you do need the BIOS file, you still need like everything, you can't just name a random text file the BIOS file. Uh, but once you do get the BIOS file you need, if it says something else, like how mine had like the US region or whatever on that, you want to get rid of that and just say whatever it needs at the bottom. And then when you get that green check mark, you're all clear. Next up, <clears throat> uh, when we go to the arcade game that we want to play, the pinball game I talked about, uh, it only accepts .q files, and unlike what I showed earlier in the video, you're not able to convert q files with the tool system up here with WinRAR. So what you need to do is you want to go into the game files, open that up, and then if we go over here and we drag the name, we see that it's a bunch of different bin files, and one of them is the q file. So we'll just want to grab all this, and that, there we go. And then we'll just want to dump it inside that folder. We do not want it to be in the zip, unlike the DS ones, because uh, this one does not take zip. So then we'll exit out of that, that, refresh, and then there it is, Pro Pinball. And uh, now we'll just wait for the game to start. Alright, so Editor Seraphim coming at you guys again. So the Pinball one actually did not work. For whatever reason, it was just taking us to like a broken sound test, and me and my friend both replicated the issue. Um, it would either just not load up, or it would take us to a broken sound test that was ear raping us. So I guess that game just isn't playable, sadly, but that's okay. Uh, this still does work. I was able to get a different game called Nights into Dreams working for this, uh, for the same type of console and everything like that. Did the same installation, so nothing else changed. Uh, so this does work, but unfortunately it turns out one of them actually doesn't work. Uh, if we go down here, Citra is just broken it seems like, so sadly that one just doesn't work on the emulator yet. Uh, but I haven't heard anything else about any of the other ones, the other ones seem to work so far. So uh, we at least have that. And I think with that aside, I think that's the whole video, I don't really have anything else to cover. So I really hope this was useful to you guys, I hope it was easy to follow. Uh, I, I apologize if it might have been like a little bit difficult to follow at any point, or if my stuttering or anything like that got annoying. Uh, but if it was useful to you guys, I would really love a comment or a like. I absolutely love reading comments. Um, and again, if you need help, please please comment or DM me on Discord about it. I'll put my Discord hashtag on the screen right now so you can DM me if you would like to. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, and don't really have anything else to say. So, bye-bye.